comes to the northern kingdom of Israel, there isn't much in the way of kings that can be looked up to. Yet, there is one king that we can learn a valuable character trait from. Jehu was a man that had a lot of internal fire. He was a man of great zeal. He even said so of himself in 2 Kings chapter 10, verse 16. He said, come with me and see my zeal for the Lord. Zeal is an energetic enthusiasm, especially for a cause or idea. The energy level with which you are motivated is your zeal. Now, there are some people that even if they were set on fire, they would not demonstrate much zeal or energy. There are others that don't need a reason to be bouncing off the walls. Zeal is more than this. Zeal is taking that energy and channeling it towards doing something. Jehu was full of zeal and he had zeal for the Lord. They could even tell by the way he drove his chariot when he was coming. He was so full of energy. The Lord used this zeal to put Israel back on the path of doing what was right. When God made Jehu king over the northern kingdom, Jehu got rid of all of the worshipers of Baal. He was so determined to make sure he got all of them that he called them together to the temple of Baal for a sacrifice. Once they were there, he had 80 of his soldiers close the doors and kill every single one of the prophets. There were no worshipers of Baal left alive in Israel. We need some Christians that have this kind of zeal to serve the Lord. The kind of zeal that motivates you to get up early, to read your Bible and pray. The zeal that makes you want to invite everyone you see to know God better and to come be involved in church. Zeal for yourself to know God and the power of the gospel in your own life. We need people with a burning desire to serve the Lord. Your zeal and heart go hand in hand. Whatever fires you up inside is where your heart is and where your zeal will be. There was a columnist, Rudy Tidwell, who wrote, he said, a student studies his books diligently, burns the midnight oil study, goes without eating properly, gets his degree, and his name is included in the who's who book, and he's called a genius. An athlete works out every day, follows the coach's instructions, disciplines his life rigidly, puts almost every waking moment into his sport, goes to the Olympics and wins a gold medal, and he's called a champion. The lodge member meets all the requirements of advancement, never misses a lodge meeting, gets involved in all sorts of civic and lodge activities, and eventually makes it to the top position in his lodge, and he's called a grandmaster. An entertainment idol burns the candle at both ends, compromises his moral standards in order to advance, uses people to get to the top of his profession, neglects his family, and ignores his spiritual life, and he's called a star. But the person who gives his heart to God, who gets excited about his salvation and new life, lives under the lordship of Jesus Christ and walks in the fullness of the Holy Spirit, attends Bible study and worship, shows joy, weeps over sin, reads his Bible and prays, and do you know what they call him? A crazy religious fanatic. But God, God calls him my faithful servant and says of him, well done. Oh, that we might have the zeal of Jehu so that we can hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. I'm Larry Wright, and this has been a message in a minute.